Hello everyone, welcome to our Rock in Your Business call. This is Christy Bloxham. I am the VP of Training and Development here at Unique. And we have a great program for you today. We have two presenters. Uh, we have Jessica Bates, who is an orange status from Indiana, and Courtney LeBlue. From, she's also orange status, and she lives in Georgia. And they are going to talk to you about, her, their topic today is, how do you set yourself up for maximum success in your busy season? And what ways do you front load and prioritize? We know that all of you are getting ready for you know, our really busy Christmas gift buying time. And we wanted to bring some presenters to you that would give you some hints on what they do. They're both very busy but they're both very organized and they'll give you some really good tips and uh, techniques to help you run your business even better. So we're excited to have them here. They were both highly nominated and very qualified to speak to you and we think that they'll bring some good information. So with that said, let's start with Jessica. Jessica, let's turn the time over to you. Thank you, Christy. I'm just honored that I get to speak here today. Um, as she said, my name is Jessica Bates, and I'm a wife. I'm a mother of two, ages five and three. I've worked the last 10 years full-time in IT for a major student loan company. So through the week, we leave our house by 8 a.m., and we don't get home till after 6 p.m. So if I don't plan ahead, if I didn't front load my business, I would not have a business, honestly. So based on that, you can probably guess what my why is, right? It's so big that it's honestly hard for me to talk about sometimes but I want to be home more with my family. That's my why. Um, my team is Team Brave Beauty. They are my people. My sponsor is the amazing Carol Lewis Newton. Hashtag Team Flourish. <laughs> You've heard that before. And I'm here because of them and their support and their belief in me. So I joined Unique in October of 2014 and I hit green in February of 2015 and then this past April I actually hit orange. And I represent the side hustlers, as we like to call ourselves affectionately, and we are the people that have full-time jobs that hustle unique on the side. I'd say a majority of us hope to do unique full-time one day, and that's me for sure. I'm a numbers girl. I'm in IT, okay? I, I think numbers are important, so I'm going to share some of my numbers with you. I'm very motivated by numbers, and I think that numbers provide credibility. So I want you to hear me and to see me and know that if I can make this work, if I can do this, that you can absolutely do this too. I've sold over $60,000 personally in the last almost two years, and I have 90 personally enrolled. Our Brave Beauty team is just shy of 300 members, and I am just truly grateful for each and every one of them. So what do I do? How do I set up my business for success in the busy season? First off, get those products in your hands as soon as you possibly can. Um, I personally don't like to market the products until I've tried them myself. I want to feel them, see them, smell them, try them out with other stuff. Um, that's a, a personal choice and so that two-day shipping option is going to be my very best friend. My team and I are going for some really big goals and we're going to need some really big numbers and my goal is that I'm going to be the example. I'm going to set the pace and we are going to run together from day one. And something I've done recently is I've switched my online parties to makeup classes and that has been absolutely huge for my business. I have really found that I'm more comfortable asking for these classes for, to get hostesses um, because I feel that I have something of value to offer in addition to the possibility of just earning free makeup. The teaching aspect of it is so, so important to me. I want these women to feel confident and that they know how to use the makeup that they've purchased for me. I don't just want it to sit in a drawer somewhere. So the makeup classes has been awesome for my business. I book as many um, online classes as I possibly can. I get them scheduled. I get them on the calendar. Like right now I'm trying to book out September. Um, I know what I can handle working full time, so I'm going to push that to the limit this fall. And I just cannot stress enough how important the, the online, the virtual aspect is, the, the makeup classes, the parties, whatever you call yours, they're so important to, to your business. I couldn't work my business um, the way that I do if I didn't have the online aspect. Um, these online makeup classes or parties expand your network and bring in informed contacts. These people have seen what you do and they see what your business is all about. They've watched you, they've seen your videos, 
they feel like they know you. They feel connected. Even if you don't feel connected to them, they feel connected towards you. So they are some of your best contacts, your best future prospects, your best um, future hostesses. Um, something else I like to do in the fall that are a lot of fun, they have a lot of vendor events in the fall. Um, they're also a great way to meet new people and expand your network. I also love to go live on Facebook. Um, especially if I haven't had time to do a video or something has come up and I want to talk about it. I can advertise that I'm going live that night or whenever I plan to do it. Going live is huge, 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 huge. It lets people see you, the real, raw, the unedited you. And I want you to remember that nobody wants to see perfect, okay? Nobody expects perfect, nobody wants to see perfect. They want to see you. So going live is something you can do for your business that is absolutely huge. Um, something else that I do um, is I map my girls that are going for promotions in the upcoming month. I also map myself. We've really been working on this the last few days. Um, I know what several of the girls on my team are running towards in September and we have mapped out a plan together to make that happen. We're going to be ready and we're going to know what we need and we're going to know what it takes to get there from day one. Um, I don't want to be you know, surprised on day 15 going, oh my gosh, we really should have thought about how to get Sally Sue to blue. No, we're going to have that figured out and we're going to be running on day one. So a new product launch for me also means a new series in my customer base group or as some of you call a VIP group. Um, it's usually a five to seven day party and I plan it all out ahead. Every post, every video, everything. I write it all out and it, then I take a few hours on the weekend and I make every single video right then. I change shirts, I change my hair, my jewelry, my makeup, the location around the house, I change everything and I shoot it all in a matter of hours. I don't want all the videos to look the same. That's why I say I change my makeup, my hair, jewelry, all that stuff. It's just not as visually interesting if I sit in the same spot with the same hair and makeup and shoot everything from start to finish. Um, this is also how I will integrate the new products into my current party script. I will look at my current script, figure out where I want to fit the new ones in, write out that new plan, and then book out some time and just knock it out and get it done. Um, and then, so I have to share this with you too. One of the best things I could have done for myself was purchasing a ring light on Amazon because now I can work after the sun goes down as late as I, as I want to um, because we all know that nobody likes a video in the bathroom with the yucky bathroom light or um, a video that you can barely see somebody. So getting that ring light was a game changer for me. It, it has really, really helped my business. And it wasn't as, as expensive as I thought it was going to be. So functioning when it's super busy, which is all the time for me, means that I have to have a plan and I have to schedule when I'm going to work on Unique. And like I mentioned, um, for me a bulk of that besides posting in parties during the day is after my kids go to bed. I've had to make sacrifices to make this work, but it's because I 100% believe that it's worth it. And so I ask for help. I have a husband who is fabulous enough that he started cooking dinner to take some of the load off of me. So I want to tell you, don't be afraid to ask for help. I, I found that when I keep him very informed of my plan and our schedule, um, we can make family time more of a priority and it's not a big scheduling disaster. So for example, if I plan to go live on a Wednesday night, I let him know, hey, Wednesday night I'm going to go live, okay? So he knows after we get kids in bed, if one of them hops up, he can try and catch the kid before they walk in on my live. And, and that's been a great way that we can prioritize family time a little bit better is work together and have a plan. But it's truly a catch-22 when you're spending time away from your family so that you can ultimately spend more time with your family one day. And what I've really realized is that it doesn't help when I beat myself up. It doesn't help at all. It's not productive. And all I can do is the best that I can do. And ultimately, there's really no such thing as work-life balance, right? It's never going to be in balance. It's just not. And when I was planning this all out and talking to my husband, um, he called it work-life integration. And I just love that because understanding that, yeah, sometimes I'm going to need to be on my phone in front of the kids. It's, it's going to happen. And sometimes the kids are going to run in when I'm on Facebook Live. I have kids. That's life. You're going to see them sometimes. I'm just going to roll with it and know that I'm doing the best that I can. So 
Um, I also love lists. I keep lists in my phone. Um, I'm an electronic girl, so I know a lot of you like to write things down, but I keep track of everything in my phone. I put alerts in my calendar. I have all these lists, like I said. Um, break your tasks down into smaller tasks and celebrate as you cross them off. If something on your list feels like it's just huge, it's daunting, like you can't accomplish it, chunk away at it. Break that dude down into smaller tasks and then go at it. Um, we learned at Unified from Rob Morris to celebrate the small wins, and that really, really hit home with me, and I think I'm doing a much better job of that these days, for sure. Um, I also, I wear the makeup to work every day. If I don't have the opportunity to just decide halfway through the day that I want to put makeup on, I, I can't do that because I'm at work. So as silly as it sounds, my husband laughed when I, when I told him this part. I, I have to be selfie ready. I have to. Because um, I never know when I'm going to need uh, to take a picture of me with something or go live in my team page on the lunch break. I strive to be a product of the product and, and I don't want to wear the same makeup every day either. I like to change up the colors and the products so I can constantly be taking pictures and have a representation of all these different things that we have in our lines. So in closing, uh, I want to end with a few things that um, I really like to tell my team and that I've mentioned on Periscope before if you've heard me on there. Um, first, keep your eyes on your own mat. I, I love yoga, so that's a yoga reference, um, but when you focus on your practice, your business, your work, the results are going to come. They are. And don't worry about what all the people around you are doing. Don't worry about them. And remember that another woman's success is not your failure at all. There is plenty of room for every single one of us. And you're going to have roadblocks. You are. You're going to have roadblocks. You're going to experience obstacles. Um, what matters, honestly, what matters is how you handle those obstacles. So much of this business, I believe, is about mindset. I don't freak out when things go wrong because I know things are going to go wrong. Like, inevitably, things go wrong. That's life. It's up and down, right? Your business is no different. So when those obstacles appear, and you're going to have some obstacles this fall, you will. Figure it out. Just strive to figure it out. Um, one of my favorite quotes, actually, you're going to laugh, is from Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. And it's when he says, the problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. So here's what I hope. I really hope for you that you can always strive to have a positive, figure it out mindset. And then when you think about your journey and you're looking around you, you stop saying, why me? Why did that happen to me or why couldn't that have happened to me? But instead, you look around you and you look on at everyone else and you say, why not me? Okay? Why not me? Thank you. That's fantastic, Jessica. I love your words of advice because they really ring true for so many of us. Um, Jack Sparrow, honestly. I mean, you quoted Jack Sparrow, so you're going to be one of many people's favorites right there. But um, he has some good things, you know, that's a good thought. We need to make sure that we're focusing on the correct things and keeping our, you know, keeping our mindset positive. But also, I love that you have learned to integrate your family life in with your work life. Because truly, they do cross over and trying to separate them completely will never work for anyone. And so that's a great thought and I like that your husband has helped you to do that. That's, that's a big help for you, I'm sure. So thank you so much for being with us today and those are very good words of advice for all of us. And so, that said, Courtney, let's turn the time over to you. Thank you so much, Christy. I'm honored, truly honored to do this call and um, Jessica, those were amazing tips. I love that you said you always have to be selfie ready. I think that should be maybe a motto for the company. <laughs> um, at any rate, yes, my name is Courtney Blue. I am an Orange Status presenter. I joined in September of 2014. Um, I went green in March of 2015, and then recently this March in 2016, um, I went uh, orange. So I live in Georgia with my husband, Marshall, and our dog, Cooper. Um, we started unique and I say we because my husband and I truly work this business together um, when I was working another job full-time I was in retail management for 11 years and was looking for something else 
I loved my job. I loved interacting with customers, but I knew it was time for me to sort of change course. So I looked into um, several direct sales companies, and Unique was the perfect fit. It just it it fell into my lap. I feel like, and I took the opportunity and I ran with it. Um, so we joined. We joined in, in September, and and I haven't looked back at all. I'm blessed for the opportunity that Unique has given me, and I'm blessed um, with a, a great team. Uh, team Lash Masters is my team. We have a little over 200 people on um, on board with us, and personally, um, to right now, I'm a little shy of two years. I've sold uh, over 50,000 in personal retail sales for my lifetime, and I've uh, recruited. Um, just today, my 75th personal. So I am. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm. I've got something good here, and, and I hope that everyone else does. I, I just wish that everyone could see the opportunity that we have with Unique. Uh, so some of the things I do to set myself up for the busy seasons uh, really are two things I sort of focus my business around, and I knew going into this from my retail experience that I wanted to be able to interact with my customers as much as I could. So I love the fact that I'm able to do my job from my phone, which is 95% of what I do, but I'm also able to go to vendor events and interact with my customers face to face. So I start booking for busy season, vendor season, which typically is from September to de December and the spring. I get all of my shows lined up ahead of time, as many of them as I can. I write notes um, in my planner from previous shows so that I know about when those shows are going on. And that way I can basically book my months three months ahead of time. And I try to do a vendor event September through December at least three times a month. Sometimes I've done as many as seven. Um, sometimes I have them three in one weekend. It gets a little crazy, but as long as you're super organized and you have your inventory uh, where it needs to be, you can you can work that um, three days. And you might need to take a half day off on Monday morning because you will be exhausted. But um, I love doing them. Uh, how I find vendor events. Um, I do it a couple ways. Uh, in the beginning, before Facebook was as interactive as it is and before it really worked for our business as much as it does now, it was a lot harder to find events. Um, I would call churches, businesses, schools, uh, women's groups, and ask if they have things that I can, you know, vendor events that I can come to. Um, I would also, when I went to a vendor event, I would network with the other vendors and find out what events they're doing in the future. Um, we share events with each other. So I found a group of women who are network marketers and we each have a different company that we represent so no one is in cosmetics no you know there's only one of each category basically and we share events with each other um, it, it truly is probably the best way to find events is to network with the other vendors um, also I have a, a group of ladies that we book our own vendor events so if you feel like you're lacking in finding one or, or it's um, you know you need to book something for that week plan a trunk show is what we call it. So there are a couple of us, anywhere from five to ten girls, who get together at a neutral location in the city we live in. Uh, we create a event on Facebook. We advertise it about a week in advance. I find that that pretty much works. Um, anything earlier than that and you find people waiting to make their purchases for the event, so you don't want to harm a week by doing that. Um, and also they, send ten, they might forget it, so you want to kind of keep it in that same week. Um, and we book a trunk show and so uh, we create an event on Facebook, we invite people to the event and we take all of our inventory, we each set up a different table um, and we call it a trunk show so that people can really get a true shopping experience with it. Um, you know, they're meeting the owners firsthand of these companies and we're able to do refreshments, we offer gift wrapping, um, I just, we just had our first one of the season yesterday and they work out fabulous. So many people I've shared this with have done these trunk shows like this and it seems to work out um, for most people. It's just more of a personal level than these bigger vendor events than I typically do. Um, however, back to those big vendor events which are pretty much my bread, bread and butter. Um, I also uh, ask on Facebook, your Facebook friends and family, if they know of any events that you can go to. And I also ask them to send me a message rather than comment on my post. And, you know, that's just because uh, 
truth of the matter, you're friends with tons of unique presenters. They might live in your same hometown. Um, and you kind of want to make sure you get the vendor events um, in a, a closed area so that you're just the one that's kind of researching that event. Um, so even if someone co comments on my uh, status about the event, um, I'll delete that comment and then send them a message, thank them for sending me the event, and then ask them some more questions. Um, so I think that's those couple ways are pretty much uh, how I find the events. And I know you know people always ask me that. So that's that's huge. But do whatever works for you. Um, as long as you get yourself to the event, I think you'll be very surprised at what it does for your business. And even if you don't have a successful event in terms of sales, if you are networking with those other vendors, that is a successful event. You can get purchases from them and, of course, um, find out about the other trunk shows or vendor events. Um, okay, as far as um, how I stay organized with all of this, so there are a couple things that I do. Um, one thing is get a planner. That I'm I'm more of a write it down kind of person. Um, so I get a planner and I start planning my week um, on Sunday, and I book something every day, whether it's a training for my team or it's a Facebook Live, or um, you know it's in a vendor event. I'm doing my makeup deliveries. Whatever it is, I book that on Sunday. And then I leave that planner open somewhere in my house, like on the kitchen table, um, in the bedroom, on the dresser, wherever it is, so that I see it constantly. So if there's a, a space in the calendar, um, I know that I've got some work to do. And I want my my calendar full. You know, I think you've heard people say, if your calendar's not full, your wallet's not full. And I feel like you have to be prepared Um every week, every single week. And then, of course, I'm booking them months in advance for those vendor shows. So calendars are, um, it, it's a great thing. If, if you get a planner, there's tons. There's even um, planners specifically for network marketers. Um, another thing I do is I have a Square app that I use for tracking my inventory. So that's how I take um, credit card orders if someone wants to pay with a credit card. Cash and carry is a huge part of my business. It is 95% of what I do. And in order to do that, I have to be super organized. So my husband helps me with this tremendously. Um, he actually um, opened the app for me. He loaded everything into the app that we offer, that Unique offers. Even if I don't have it in stock, um, everything is in there. And I go ahead and put my retail, or excuse me, my cash and carry price into that app. So, um, and I, if you see me advertise on Facebook, if I ever advertise a price, it's always my cash and carry price because I don't like to tell someone, you know, the mascara is twenty nine dollars, and then when I send them an invoice, it's got another fee on it. Um, I just like to go ahead and kind of lump that in there. So, also, if I'm out and about and someone asks me a price, I can just open that app and look to see the price and have it exactly. You know, you're you're going to pay thirty one fifty, which is what I charge for the mascara. So everything is in that app for me. Um, when I get a new shipment in, in the mail from Unique with products, the first thing I do, no matter if it's for a customer or if it's something cash and carry, I put it in that app so that that app is always up to date with quantities. So it, I know I've got two satin press powders in stock, and when I sell both of those two satin press powders by taking them out of inventory each time someone purchases, it will send me every night an update of what I need to order. So what I'm low on if I choose to order and you know stock that item again. That is huge. Square is, it, it, it's honestly um, how I function. I'm not sure exactly what I would do without it. Um, so if you haven't looked into Square, that may be something you might want to do. I believe PayPal may, may offer something sort of similar to this, but um, Square is just kind of what I've, what I've had from the beginning, and that's just kind of what I've run, ran with. Another thing I do um, to keep track of my customers, and this um, is exactly what I do when I'm preparing for busy season, especially because follow-up is a huge part of um, of that busy season. Um, you know, in retail, we learned, I knew, uh, busy season for retail is exactly like what it is for us. You are basically a walking store. So September through December, you have to be prepared. You have to be organized, and you need to be following up. That's where most of your sales are going to come is in those months. So I have an index card box that I purchased on Amazon, um, and in that box I have index cards, and I ha have them separated by month. Um, so if Sally buys a mascara from me in December, I write her name on an index card, I put what it was that she purchased, and the date, the actual day that she purchased it, and then I file it behind December. 
And then if Sally purchases 20 days later, but you're still in December, I go back to that card, pull out her name, write down what she purchased, the date, and put it back under there. That way, two, three months from now, I can go back and follow up with Sally and find out if she needs to reorder something. Um, if Sally comes to me in six months and says, I really love that lip gloss, I lost it. Can you tell me what it was? I would like to order it again. I have it. Customer service, I think, is should be one of your top goals, if you, if, if not your your top goal. Um, and you should be able to provide excellent customer service. And one way to do that is by being organized. So I think they feel like it's more of a personal experience if I know exactly what they purchased six months ago. Um, of course, your website tracks all of this for you. If you do online parties and things of that nature, you can use it to apply for your business that way. But like I say, cash and carry is, is what I do primarily. Um, so you have to be a little bit more organized when you do that. Um, and that's just sort of kind of creating your own systems for that. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, one of the biggest things um, that I have learned so far, I think, is just to stay consistent and not give up. It's imperative. And I hear my upline all the time telling us to stay consistent. And now that I have a growing team, um, I tell my girls all the time, you have to stay consistent. It's imperative in this business. You know, if you stop posting on social media for a day or two days, it's going to take you three or four days just to get caught back up, to be at the top of Facebook again, to be caught back up on all the emails and messages and comments and likes that you've missed. So staying on top of it every single day is imperative. Um, I notice, you know, especially in the summer when you're going on vacation, I personally work my business every single day. There's not a day that goes by that I do not work my business. Um, if I'm sick, I'm still working. If I'm on vacation, I'm still working. Holidays, I'm still working. It may not be to the same capacity that it is, you know, on a normal business day, um, but I'm always doing something. And I noticed this summer when I was going on vacation, you know, you're you're out of range of service or you're you're interacting with your family, whatever it is, you're not able to work your business as much as you would if you were doing it on a normal day. And when I got back home, it showed me just how much you sort of lose by not being as interactive as you are all the time. So you have to stay on top of it. Um, you know, in, in November of this past year, I was able to quit my full-time job, and now Unique is my only job. Um, it's a little bit scary in that respect because I know everything I do to build my success lies on my shoulders. You know, my, my the, how much money I make, how many team members I bring in, all of that success is directly reliant upon me now. Um, I love the fact that I can move up in the company, promote, make more money, whatever it is, by actually working harder. You know, there are not very many corporate jobs where you can work harder and actually be rewarded for, rewarded for it instantly, like three hours instantly. That, to me, is crazy. Um, but it's also, um, it, it's, a, it's a blessing. It's kind of a catch-22, I guess, because I know I have to put in the work in order to be able to succeed in this company. And I'm willing to do that. That is fine with me. Um, I spend more time working unique um, now than I ever did on my full-time job. And I think those of you who kind of want to retire from that job, you'll start to realize, you know, when your full-time job is getting in the way of your unique job, you know that your passion for it is strong enough that um, that's something that you want for yourself. So I'm, I'm so blessed by the company. I'm blessed to have found this opportunity and to be able to do what I do day in and day out. I work way over 40 hours a week on Unique, and it's the easiest hard work I've ever done. I tell my team that all the time. Um, you just have to want it, and you have to stay consistent. And as long as you do and you never give up, perhaps one day you'll be able to put your phone down and um, and enjoy what's going on you know, around you. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I'm addicted to Unique. I, I truly think I have an addiction to Unique, and I don't know that I ever want to put my phone down and not be involved with it. So I'm, I'm grateful that I have found my lifetime career. That is insane to me. So, And again, thank you so much for asking me to do the call. I'm so excited, and um, I hope some of my tips have helped you all. Thank you so much, Courtney. That was wonderful. And, you know, I was sitting here listening to both of you speak, and I realized both of you have found a way to make this business work for you. You've, you've run your business in your own way, one of you full-time, the other uh, part-time or with another full-time job, but you've found ways to stay organized, you've found ways to 
uh, sell product, build your teams, and do what you need to do that will fit into your lifestyle and the you know the way you want to the way you want to live and what you want to do. And so that's very you know it's it's wonderful what Unique can do for all of us and the opportunity that it gives. So thank you so much, Courtney, for sharing your ideas. They're wonderful. I can tell you're very organized, and I'm sure that helps your team as well as you run your business. So ladies, thank you so much for being with us. We love these Rock in Your Business calls. They show us uh, how all of you are, are working so hard and how um, wonderful you are, but it's it's so nice to have you share and to share with your whole heart and be willing to tell us your tips and your tricks because that helps each of us and you know as you're helping someone else they're they're possibly helping you in other ways so we appreciate your time and we look forward to next month's uh, rock in your business so watch for that posting that McKenna will make on the pops for nominations and thanks again Courtney and Jessica for being with us of course. Thanks so much for asking us. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Have a great day, and we will see you all next month.